In recent decades we've witnessed a significant transformation in the landscape of childhood health. The challenges our children face today are markedly different from those of previous generations. Childhood health has shifted dramatically, presenting new and complex challenges for families and healthcare professionals alike. We're seeing trends that demand our attention and a deeper understanding. Obesity, type 2 diabetes, once considered primarily adult conditions, are now increasingly prevalent in younger populations, raising serious concerns about long-term health outcomes. And Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD, a neurodevelopmental condition, continues to affect a growing number of children, highlighting the need for early diagnosis and intervention. These conditions, along with others, are all on the rise, painting a concerning picture of the current state of children's health. The statistics are clear, and the trends are undeniable. For years these were seen as separate issues, each addressed in isolation by different medical specialists. The focus was often on treating the symptoms rather than understanding the underlying causes. But what if they're connected? What if these seemingly disparate health challenges share common roots and are influenced by factors we haven't fully grasped? New research suggests a potential link, pointing towards a more holistic understanding of childhood health. Scientists are delving deeper, exploring the intricate connections between various factors. Specifically, a mother's metabolic health, her overall well-being during pregnancy, may play a far more significant role than previously thought. It can shape her child's developing brain, influencing neurological pathways and potentially increasing the risk of certain health conditions later in life, even before birth. The environment within the womb can have lasting effects on a child's health trajectory. This isn't about blame, placing responsibility on mothers, but about understanding the complex interplay of factors that contribute to a child's health. It's about recognizing how genetics, environment, and maternal health interact in a dynamic and often unpredictable way. By exploring these links, by unraveling the connections between these factors, we can find new ways, innovative strategies, to support mothers and children, providing them with the resources and care they need for healthier generations, ensuring a brighter future for our children and grandchildren. The implications are vast, reaching far beyond individual families and communities, challenging us to rethink our approach to healthcare, to reconsider prenatal care and public health initiatives, focusing on prevention and early intervention. Addressing obesity and diabetes, promoting healthy lifestyles, isn't just about the mother's health. It's not solely focused on her individual well-being. It's about creating the best environment, the most nurturing and supportive conditions, for fetal development, ensuring the healthy growth and development of the next generation. This perspective highlights the critical importance of early intervention, how interconnected our health truly is, emphasizing the need for a holistic and integrated approach to healthcare. Our goal is to empower you with knowledge, to provide you with the information you need to make informed decisions, not alarm you, but to equip you with the understanding necessary to navigate these complex issues. We'll break down the latest science, simplifying complex research findings, and offer practical steps for families, providing actionable advice and guidance for improving health outcomes. Join us as we piece together the evidence, this modern health puzzle, working towards a clearer understanding of the challenges we face. Every new discovery, every breakthrough in research brings us closer to a clearer picture, revealing the intricate connections that shape our health and well-being. Let's define the key players we'll be discussing today. We're going to break down some complex medical terms and explore how they might be interconnected in ways we haven't fully understood before. First, obesity, then diabetes, and finally, autism. Obesity is defined as excess body fat, often measured by body mass index or BMI. It's a condition where the amount of fat tissue in the body is significantly higher than what is considered healthy. Obesity increases the risk for many health problems including heart disease, certain cancers and importantly for our discussion, type 2 diabetes. It places a significant strain on various bodily systems. Diabetes disrupts how the body manages blood sugar or glucose. Type 2 is the most common form of diabetes and is often closely linked to obesity. In this type, the body becomes resistant to insulin or doesn't produce enough of it, leading to elevated blood sugar levels. Gestational diabetes on the other hand develops during pregnancy, often resolving after childbirth, but it can increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life for both the mother and the child. Both conditions, obesity and diabetes, can have widespread and systemic effects on the body, 
impacting everything from cardiovascular health to neurological function. Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, is a complex developmental condition affecting communication, social interaction, and behavior. Individuals with ASD may have difficulties with social communication and interaction, and may exhibit repetitive behaviors or have very specific interests. It's called a spectrum because the presentation of ASD varies widely from person to person. Some individuals may have significant challenges, while others may have milder symptoms. The causes of ASD are complex and not fully understood, involving both genetic predispositions and environmental factors that may interact in intricate ways. Research is ongoing to better understand these contributing factors. Traditionally, these conditions, obesity, diabetes, and autism, were studied separately, each within its own distinct field of medical research. Now, however, researchers are increasingly investigating whether metabolic disruptions stemming from obesity and diabetes, such as inflammation and altered glucose metabolism, could potentially increase the risk of ASD in children who are already genetically susceptible. This potential link is the central idea we'll explore in more detail. Understanding these connections if they exist could fundamentally change how we approach prevention and care strategies for all three conditions. It's about adopting a more holistic approach and seeing the bigger picture of health, recognizing that different systems in the body are interconnected. So let's dive deeper into the science and explore the evidence that is beginning to emerge. The story of this potential connection is just beginning to unfold, and it promises to be a fascinating journey. Over the past decade, research has revealed a strong link between maternal metabolic health and autism risk. A landmark study found that mothers who were obese before pregnancy were more likely to have a child diagnosed with ASD, even after accounting for other factors. Further studies showed that type 2 diabetes, especially when combined with obesity, increases this risk even more. Animal research suggests maternal obesity triggers inflammation that can alter fetal brain development. These findings move us from simple correlations to understanding possible biological mechanisms. The evidence is consistent. Maternal metabolic health is a significant environmental factor in ASD development. While no single study is definitive, the cumulative data is hard to ignore. Science is telling us a compelling story. Let's look at how these conditions might be biologically linked. We've established a link between maternal metabolic health and the risk of autism spectrum disorder in children. But how exactly does this connection manifest at a biological level? How could a mother's metabolic health, her diet, her weight, and her overall well-being affect her child's brain development in such a profound way? Let's delve into the biological pathways that help explain this intricate relationship. First, chronic inflammation. This isn't just any inflammation. We're talking about the persistent low-grade inflammation often associated with obesity and metabolic disorders. This chronic inflammation releases cytokines, small proteins that act as signaling molecules. These cytokines, unfortunately, can cross the placenta, that vital lifeline between mother and child, and disrupt fetal brain development. They can interfere with the delicate processes of neuronal growth and connectivity. Second, high blood sugar. Elevated glucose levels, whether from pre-existing diabetes or gestational diabetes, a condition that develops during pregnancy, can have serious consequences. This high blood sugar leads to oxidative stress, a condition where harmful free radicals damage cells, including those crucial developing brain cells. This damage can disrupt normal brain architecture and function. Third, obesity and diabetes can impair placental function, hindering its ability to effectively transport essential substances. This impairment results in reducing the supply of oxygen and vital nutrients to the fetus resources that are absolutely critical for healthy brain growth and development. A compromised placenta means a compromised brain. These factors don't act alone, they are interconnected and synergistic. They combine to create a stressful and potentially toxic environment for the developing brain, a brain that is exquisitely sensitive to its surroundings. For genetically susceptible fetuses, those with a predisposition to neurodevelopmental disorders, this multi-hit environment may act as a trigger, increasing the likelihood of developing ASD. It's a complex interplay of genetics and environment, a delicate dance between nature and nurture, where both play crucial roles. Understanding these intricate biological pathways, the mechanisms by which these factors exert their influence helps us see, with increasing clarity, why maternal health matters so profoundly, not just for the mother, but for the long-term health and well-being of her child. 
the science is constantly evolving, new discoveries are being made all the time, but the core message is clear and consistent. Supporting maternal metabolic health, ensuring that women enter pregnancy in the best possible condition, is absolutely key to giving children the best start in life. Let's see how this complex interplay of factors plays out in real time, during the critical periods of pregnancy and early childhood, when the brain is most vulnerable and most plastic. The story continues, and with each new piece of research we gain a deeper understanding of this vital connection. Pregnancy is a time of transformation and vulnerability. Pre-pregnancy obesity sets the stage for metabolic disruptions from the very start. Gestational diabetes, often developing mid-pregnancy, exposes the fetus to high blood sugar and its risks. The good news, with proper care, these risks can be managed. Regular prenatal care, healthy weight, and blood sugar control are crucial. After birth, early childhood health remains vital for brain development. Healthy eating and physical activity support both body and mind. These habits help break the cycle of metabolic disease across generations. Supporting mothers and families benefits children's physical and neurological health. Small changes can have a big impact. Let's look at the nuances of this research. It's important to remember, correlation does not equal causation. Most mothers with obesity or diabetes will not have a child with autism. These are risk factors, not guarantees. Genetics, environment, and other variables all play a role. Researchers work hard to control for confounding factors, but the picture is complex. This isn't about blame. Many factors are beyond anyone's control. The goal is to identify modifiable risks and empower healthier choices. Understanding these links helps us take positive action. Science is cautious using terms like associated with rather than causes. The research is ongoing, and every family's story is unique. Knowledge is power when used to support and inform. Let's talk about what this means for your health decisions. This video is for education, not medical advice. Your health is unique. Always consult your healthcare provider for personal guidance. Only a professional can tailor advice to your specific needs and history. If you're pregnant or planning to be, talk to your doctor about managing obesity, diabetes, or any concerns. Early intervention and expert support are key for both mother and child. Use this knowledge to ask better questions and partner with your care team. Understanding risk is just the start. Taking action is what matters. Healthy habits benefit everyone, not just those at risk. Focus on whole foods, limit processed foods and sugary drinks. Regular moderate physical activity, like walking or family bike rides, makes a difference. Manage stress and prioritize sleep, both impact metabolic health. Build healthy routines as a family for lasting change. Use trusted resources like the CDC or local health centers for support. Seek help from registered dietitians or prenatal programs if needed. You're not alone. Community and expert support are available. Small, consistent steps add up over time. Every positive change supports a healthier future. Let's work together for better health. The link between obesity, diabetes, and autism risk is a new frontier in public health. It reframes these conditions as interconnected, not isolated. Awareness is the first step. Let's bring this conversation into our communities. More research is needed to understand the mechanisms and find effective interventions. Supporting science means investing in healthier generations. We must also advocate for healthier environments, better food access, safe spaces for activity, and quality prenatal care for all. Building a healthier society is a shared responsibility. This is a story of hope, not fear. Science gives us tools to create a better future. Let's support each other, share knowledge, and champion research. Together, we can help both bodies and brains thrive. The future is in our hands. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss an update.